Thank you very much. Namaskara. Honorable Union Finance Minister Srimati Nirmala Sitharaman Ji, Professor G. Hemant Kumar, Vice Chancellor of the University of Mysore, Professor Annapurni Subramaniam, Director of the Indian Institute of Astrophysics, Honorable Member of Parliament Sri Pratap Simha, Dr. K. N. Vyas, Chairman Department of Atomic Energy, Dr. S. Chandrasekhar, Secretary Department of Science and Technology, Dr. Shivappa, and our speaker who is going to follow, Mr. Sujan, Dr. Professor Sujan Sengupta. Uh, this is a momentous occasion, and I don't think such a structure and interaction which is being proposed is there anywhere in the world. So what is being proposed is not just a planetarium, but something far more interesting and complex. Now the entire credit for the idea goes to Honorable Finance Minister Srimati Nirmala Sita Ramanji. Usually, usually when someone from finance calls up, it is uh, trouble. But uh, Srimati Nirmala Sita Ramanji has been calling up proactively on science constantly. And this is the latest example preceded by the artificial intelligence mission, the quantum mission, the supercomputing mission, and so on and so forth. In this case, she called up one day and said that why is there not a structure where students can come, look at the skies, but also analyze the data which is coming from the skies from all kinds of telescopes and use that data analytical capability both to become world leaders in astronomy but also become experts in data sciences, artificial intelligence and machine learning so that not only can they become astronomers and cosmologists but they are competitive in any sector from finance to mathematics to chemistry to biology and so on. So this was the inspiration. After that, the Department of Science and Technology, which is the nodal ministry for the Indian Institute for Astrophysics, and the Department of Atomic Energy, which has anchored many major science missions, including most recently the Laser Interferometry Gravitational Observatory, we had a meeting with all of them, and they decided to partner together and develop this. Now, one important point is, is as mentioned earlier, there are planetaria all over the country and all over the world. Students rightly come there, they get simulations of the skies and they have a very great time. This one is going to be different for two reasons. One, it is anchored along with the university system such as Mysore University. And because of that, the second reason is that it is going to be a hands-on experimental place where you can, in addition to being in the planetarium, you can see data, you can get data live from great telescopes all over India and soon all over the world. So in other words, you can get observational time on telescopes uh, just like any scientist can. Secondly, the archival data and the new data coming from such telescopes are not easy to handle and understand. And there's an enormous amount of information there which really makes it, you know, a useful mine, a gold mine for a data analysis and this kind of a data analysis you see in astronomy and astrophysics, you see in biology, but it's got applications in transport, health, agriculture and finance. So the excitement of the skies, which humans have always found really thrilling, is something which will be translated both to our understanding and our applications in different day, uh, periods. I'd like to end by a very simple statement. Throughout human history, knowledge has been power. Those who have had knowledge have had power. Sadly, knowledge has been exclusive. Today, there is a great opportunity through such ventures, stimulated by the Honorable Finance Minister, to democratize the access to knowledge, not only at a basic level, but at a high level. Such democratizations empower people and make them world leaders and prevent the concentration of knowledge and therefore as we go ahead to a world dominated by artificial intelligence and computer science and so on and the use of data, you are not beholden to a small number of big companies but you also share in that power. Thank you very much.